Good evening, my dear viewers of Trinity Channel and ABNSAD.com. I welcome you to this live show. And uh, the topic tonight is going to be about evil. Uh, I'm going to speak about three uh, points of evil. And I know that the, this topic needs a lot of time. But Lord willing, I will try to tackle it in a very easy way and concise way for the sake of time. And I would like to hear my viewers' opinion. The phone lines will be open. And uh, as we go into this uh, topic that we don't like, but we are forced to discuss, to look at, to examine, and we're not the only ones who have tried to do such a thing, but from the beginning of time, there's this question. Where did evil come from? Why bad things are happening to people? And if there's a loving God who created us, why do we suffer? Where is this evil coming from? And all these sorts of questions that sadly in so many times remain unanswered or sadly many come up with the wrong conclusions and then they give up on God and moved away from God. For example, Albert Einstein, he never had a problem with the existence of God and that this world has been created by a intellectual super being. He never had a problem with that. As a matter of fact, he wrote and he said concerning the creation, he said the universe reveals an intelligence of such superiority, superiority that it overshadows all human intelligence. And he was basing this uh, statement on the cause and effect uh, rule. Uh, there, is, there is the cause, there is the effect. If this uh, world has been created, there must be a creator. If this world is in such a design, there must be a designer and so forth. But when he looked around, and by the way, this is the most brightest intellectual person that we know of in the modern history, uh, Albert Einstein, the founder of the relativity. And therefore, after that, the atomic bomb was founded. So he didn't have a problem that there is a super being out there who created the heavens and the earth and all this created world. But when he looked around and he saw the sufferings and the evil in the world, he couldn't but to say there, that, that cannot be that this God uh, who created this universe will allow such a thing to take place. And he moved away from the God of Judaism and God of Christianity. He was a Jew, by the way. And he said, you know what, um, yeah, there must, yeah, maybe there is super being out there. He created this earth and he left it alone. Uh, he is impersonal and he is uh, not related to people, irrelevant, and he doesn't care if there is any out there. This is what Albert Einstein came up with when he came with the problem of evil in the world. And nowadays, my dear viewers, Thousands of people are moving away from the belief that there is a God out there who created us simply because of the existence of evil. So in this, uh, in this uh, program, in the next uh, half an hour, I'm going to try to concentrate on, on one, one point, uh, and that is the origin of evil. Later on in the second and third segments, Lord, Lord willing, I will look at the spread of evil and then the end of evil. Yes, my dear viewer, I'm going to start right to tell you evil will end. Yes. And I'm going to share briefly on that, but this is the good news, that there is an end to the evil. Let me go to the origin of evil, and uh, I wanna, would like to just do a panoramic view uh, to to the how did evil all started and where did it come from 
But I would like to start from the beginning of the existence of human being on earth, and sadly, there is evil on earth. There is a brother killing his brother. There is a man killing 70 people. There is homosexuality in the cities like of Sodom and Gomorrah. At the days of Noah, people are desperately wicked on daily basis from killing to rape, from lying to murder, genocide. Even in the modern history, in the modern history before War I, we have the genocide of the Armenian people. 1.5 million were killed by the Ottoman Empire in Europe. And we have about half a million to three quarters of a million uh, Chaldean and Assyrians, uh, Christians, who were killed also by the Ottoman Empire. This is right before and through and after World War I. And then we have World War I, and millions were killed. World War II, we have statistics say 50 million, others say 70 million were killed. And nowadays, just look around us, not to mention the Vietnamese War, the Korean War, and now the Gulf War, and what is taking place right now as we're speaking, as we're airing this program with ISIS throughout the Middle East. And what broke our heart, the slaughter of uh, all these innocent people, the Christians, non-Christians alike, and even the last Japanese hostages, they were killed with cold blood. And today, just today, the burning of the Jordanian pilot, alive, evil. Where did evil come from? And you know what makes, what makes uh, the picture even look more gloomy and gloomier is when people like ISIS and throughout the 1400th century of Islam where people are being killed, children are being molested, women are being raped and sold as sex slaves. And you know what makes it uh, very troubling? When all of this is done in the name of religion and is done in the name of God, as if God has told them to do such things. And therefore, as we're speaking today, thousands and hundreds of thousands are moving away from the Islamic faith just to become atheists. And their uh, reason for that, they're saying, well, if this is God, we don't want him. And I totally agree with them. I totally agree with them, and I would love to answer them and to tell them this is not God. This is a God of the imagination of their prophet. This is a God of their own imagination. This is not the true and the living God. So looking around by seeing the killing, the rape, the murder, the genocide, the atrocities, even the lying, the cheating, the betraying, the stealing, the theft, attacking one another, adultery, homosexuality, sodomy, bestiality, and burning, and so forth. Beloved, evil is all over the place. And let's not go far. Evil is not just outside of us. Evil is in us. Evil is in me as well. I'm capable of doing all of the above. I have a nature, and my dear viewer, you have a nature of capable of doing all the above. Let me tell you what uh, Mr. Henry Ford said about evil. He said evil is ignorance, bang, bumped its head in the dark. He was making it funny. But listen to Stephen Fry. You know what he calls God? He calls God an evil, capricious, monstrous maniac. So he's blaming God for all the evil in the world. Neuro neurologists, you know what neuro neuro neurologists say? Say that there is no such thing as evil in the world. Then And then when we tell them, well, where, what's all this? Look to their answer. They say there's no evil, no free will, and therefore there is no personal responsibility. But rather, you know what they say? They say it's a neurological glitch. In other words, you have a malformation in the wiring of your brain, of the physical brain, and therefore 
Uh, you know why you're killing? You know why you're committing adultery? You know why you're doing all this? The neurologists are telling us, oh, because uh, my brain made me do it. What an what a insane, what a, 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 a reason that even a kid, my nine-year-old son, will not accept it. This is what neurologists, this is what scientists are saying about there's no such thing as evil. But we are before these questions today. Uh, is God the author of evil? As if we're going to bring God into the defense stand, as if he's being accused of evil in the world. Is God the author of evil? Is he responsible for evil? And the answer to that, as we're going to look at, is simply no. No God is not responsible for evil. Well, the second question will be, if there is a God, then why there is evil? That's a very legitimate question to ask. If there, since there is a God, then why there is evil? We're going to look into that. And then if God is not responsible for evil, if God is not the author of evil, then who is it? This is what we need to look at, the origin of evil. And if God is a good God, this is another good question. If God, not just he's God who created us, but he is a good God, then why he would permit evil to, t to, ex uh, to exist? Why would God permit a loving God, a good God, why would he allow evil to exist? And sadly, uh, the 13% of atheists on the face of the earth, they came up with the conclusion because there is evil, therefore there is no God. God doesn't exist. If God exists, then evil shouldn't exist. We're going to look into that and to see if the argument could stand the test. Well, what is evil? I mean, what is evil? And uh, I would like to hear from you, my dear viewers. If you agree to what I'm saying, if you disagree, uh, if you have any questions, if you'd like me to pray for you and with you, I am willing um, I'll be more than happy to do that the phone lines are open and I would like to hear from you what is evil well evil uh, you look it up in the, in the dictionary it's a immoral uh, and action that could uh, uh, result in uh, harm and hurt to others or to property I believe that evil is the absence of righteousness. Evil is the absence of perfection. Evil is the absence of holiness. And let me put it this way, evil is the absence of goodness. It's as simple as that. When you take righteousness, when you take goodness, when you take holiness, when you take perfection, we're talking about God here. So evil is the absence of God. Now, God cannot be absent, but I can put it in a better term. Evil is the consequences of being separated from God. That's what evil is. Evil, by the way, it's not created because uh, when God created uh, everything, in Genesis 1.31, he said, and God saw that all that he did was not just good, very good. There is no way, I want you to put this on the sticky side of your mind, my dear viewer, there is no way that a good God will create something bad. Keep that on the sticky side of your mind. There is no way. It's against God, against logic, against reason. Evil it is not created. And by the way, it's not a substance. Evil is a consequence. It's a term that we use to call certain actions that took place after we separated ourselves from God. So it is the lack of moral perfection. And I would like to highlight one important fact that evil existed before man existed. No, no. 
it is not man who is the source of evil. Later on, he became as if uh, he took it from someone else, and it became part of him, and then he started uh, producing it. But man was not the source of evil. Because when God created Adam and Eve, therefore, afterwards, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 30, um, 29, it says, uh, God created man upright. He created him in a very upright condition. He created him and he was very good. God doesn't create anything that is bad or malfunctioning. But what happened is when God created Adam and Eve, he told them about a tree, if you remember, in the book of Genesis, chapter 3. He told them that there's a tree, and the tree name was the knowledge of the good and evil. So evil existed before the existence of mankind on the earth. So with that being said, well, where, where did, these, did evil come from? Man is not the originator of it. If God isn't, because God created man, then where did it come from? My friend, God is not responsible for evil, but his creatures are. And I would like to refer to Lucifer. Lucifer is the name of Satan before he had fallen. The fall of angels, we are told by scholars that one-third of the angels who are existed, they have fallen. And they did not inherit that, uh, that falling uh, to be disobedient to God because they don't marry and take in marriage. But they made a decision, and that decision, the choice, to separate themselves from God. You see, when God created the angels, and man afterward, please keep in mind that he equipped his creatures, the angels and humans, with intelligence, reason, and choice. Why intelligence? That they may be aware of what's going on around them. And then after intelligence, that they may understand. They may understand and be aware of what's going on. And then there is a reason that they may process the information that they have received, the understanding, to put it into practice, and then to make a choice based upon the information that they have received and the process afterwards. To Lucifer, he was supposed to be a follower, just like all the rest of the angels. Yes, God had exalted him and made him so close to his throne but sadly, his wisdom ruined him. He was very, very a pretty angel, a beautiful angel. You can read about his descriptions in, in Isaiah 20, uh, Ezekiel 29 and Isaiah 14. But sadly, his beauty and his wisdom ruined him. And he said in his heart that he will take his throne and put it above God's throne, and he will become like God. And that was immediately the cause of his falling. So evil started it when the angel disobeyed. And he brought the same seed, and he gave it. He planted in the heart of Eve, and after that, Adam. And they took the bait, sadly. And they trusted Satan rather than God. And what did they do? They disobeyed God. God said, do not eat. They ate. You will surely die, God said. Satan laughed at them, mocked them, and he said, no. No, you will not die. You will become like God. He gave them the same seed that he has before them. He had before them. And now... Adam and Eve, and their generation afterwards, their seed afterwards, we became evil doers. We now 
we can produce evil. We can export it. Not just Adam and Eve imported it from, from uh, Satan, but we can export it. We can produce it. And now, not just the angels, Satan is the source of evil, but my dear friend, you and me, we became the source of that evil. Where is God in all this? God is innocent from evil. God is not the author of evil, and he's not responsible for it. We are responsible for it. I would like to assure you that God is a good God. Over and over and over throughout the scriptures, God is good. Listen to what the psalmist could say in the Old Testament. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercies endure forever. His mercy endures forever. Over and over and over, the writers and the people of God and the saints of God, they speak about and they sing about the goodness of God. Not only God is a good God, but his gifts, when he gives, he gives the best, always. The Lord Jesus, in Matthew 7, when he was teaching his disciples, he was teaching them about prayer. And he said, uh, in Matthew 7 and verse 7, he said, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks, it will be opened. Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? He will not do that, and I will not do that. Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? I will never do that, and I'm pretty sure you won't. If you then, being evil, see what the Lord Jesus said here? We became evil. We became evil people, sadly. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? You know what the Lord Jesus is saying here? He's saying, just think about it. I created you, and you were very good. You were upright. But sadly, because you believed the devil and disobeyed me, and separated yourself from me, you became evil. And now you are an evil parent, and know how to give your children good gifts. How much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? You see, though sin has ruined us, but still there is something out of the goodness of God still in the heart of each and every one of us. As a matter of fact, there's still some of the goodness of God in the hearts of animals. Before I came home, I hear to the studio, my wife showed me a video of a, a panther that killed a, uh, a monkey and then discovered that she just gave a birth to a little monkey. And she forgot about the mother after she killed her. And all she was worrying about is just to protect that little monkey baby and just to try to uh, look after her. There is still goodness, even in the animal, even in the human heart, the mother who looks after her children. This is out of the Lord's goodness. So, beloved, I would like to assure you that God is not responsible for evil. He's not the author of evil. Please think about this. Where did the word God came from? And where did we, the word devil came from? I did not search this out. But I just, uh, I like to, to study words, and I like to just contemplate words. And, and, and you know who brought this to my attention also? My older son, 12-year-old, he brought it to my attention. He said, Dad, look, good God, evil devil. And it makes all the sense. Please think about it. The word God came out of good, and the word devil came out of evil. Beloved, God is good, and he's the author of everything that is good. And devil is evil, and he is the author of everything that is evil. In 
the last moments here, I would like just to uh, tell you that uh, God is a good God, and out of his goodness, he came into this evil and wicked world in the, pres in the person of his son, the Lord Jesus. And why did he come? He came to put an end to the evil. He came to put an end to evil. And how did he do that? The Lord Jesus on the cross, praise be his name. While on the cross, the Lord Jesus, he was putting the basis, the foundation of removing evil forever. And that will start taking place, first of all, in the hearts and the spirits of those who would to trust him. And it will be revealed slowly but surely, taking its shape and place. The more obedient I am to the Lord, the lesser evil that I will produce. And in a soon coming day, the Lord Jesus will wipe away every seam of evil from the face of this universe and from the face of God forever. Beloved, um, this was my presentation for the origin of evil, and I pray that uh, you have grasped it. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any objections, um, I'll be more than happy to do that. But in the meantime, I would like to uh, wrap this uh, segment up by saying God is good, and he is the author of everything good. And the devil is the evil one, and he's the author of everything evil. And sadly, us, the humans, when we believe the devil, sadly we became the author and responsible for the evil in the world. I'll be right back after this. Stay tuned.